Hi everyone, my name is Mar Hussein. I'm a 3D artist and Blender user. I like to create high quality courses. And this course is the latest course that I made. And now it is finished and ready. And this result that you see right now, it is the final result of this course. So if you follow along with me, step by step, you should have a result similar to this one, realistic and accurate and smooth. In this course, we will learn a lot of things, starting from setting the scene, adding the reference images, starting with the modeling, and we will learn a lot of things and a lot of techniques to get a very smooth result like this. And we will use shrink wrap modifier to kill any artifact, to kill any problem with the shading, because creating cars like this is not so quite easy, to be honest with you it's a bit challenging and there is a lot of uh, details here and in the end of the day you should have very clean and smooth surface and if you want to achieve something like this you need to use the right technique and together we will learn how to achieve something like this let's browse the images together to see the car from different angle to see the details and to understand the results even more this is the car from the front view you can check the details we will learn how to create all of these together let's go to the next image this is from the back check the reflection check the color check the material check the details step by step we will learn how to achieve all of that let's go to the next one check the tire and the details here we will learn how to use the displacement to create a tire trade like what you see right now. I didn't model these details, but I used displacement inside Blender to achieve this clean result. And we will learn together how to achieve something like this and how to add bumpness above the displacement and the side tire texture above all of that. And this is a bit tricky, but we will learn together how to achieve something like this. I believe this is the final image. Check the details in the backlights. We will learn how to use normal map to achieve some details in the backlights, like what you see right now, to make it realistic and nice. Sorry, this is another image from the top. Check the color check the details it's a very nice result so we browsed all the images after the modeling journey when we complete the modeling we will start with the material and we will create the material and we will make it realistic as you see right now the car paint the chrome material the plastic the rubber the tire material and the BMW logo, how can we create it? There is a nice te technique that I used here to achieve very nice result with the logo. And after we finish the material section, we will rig this car and we will make it uh, ready to make some animation. We will learn how to rig the front tire and how to add controllers to this car. So when you move it, you can see some animation. Let's go to the blender to see what we have there all right now we are inside blender and these are the controllers that we made to the car let's grab this and let's go to the pose mode here all right now i can move the front wheel with this controller when i hit key i have the ability to rotate the front tire and we will learn how to achieve this with armature system that exists with blender and this is another control controller to move the car when I hit key and move you can see the wheels are moving with the car and we will learn how to achieve something like this so this car I can say it's ready to animate it if you like and uh, as I said before we will learn together how to achieve this and even if you want to render this car with Eevee, let's go to the setting right here and let's switch this to Eevee. 
you will have very nice result as you see and go to render and let's see check the result here it's very nice let's zoom in here to see the tire and the details here in the tire even if you go very close here you can see that I have some details it's very nice and powerful and for the body as well the flakes we will learn how to create car paint material to be realistic like this in cycle and EV check the logo here it's very nice let's check the rubber material that we create here even if you go close as I said you can see some details here so we have a lot of things here in this course let's go here inside see what we got here very cool very nice result so this is the result with EV and if you jump to cycle the result will be more accurate as I showed you in the beginning of this video so that's it if you like this result you can join me today to learn together how to create BMW 1957 once more again my name is Marwan Hussein I am one of the Udemy instructor I love blender and I like to create high quality courses and realistic and you can check my other courses on Udemy I made too many courses there and I have two best seller courses there on Udemy you can check them as well so that's it and see you inside